Welcome back guys we're just gonna go straight into the video first off you want to start by sectioning your hair and you got to make sure that you moisturize your hair that's the first thing that you want to pay attention to when doing a protective style and we're gonna start off by sectioning my hair at the front because we're doing Fulani braids at the front I'm not the best braider this is not a braiding tutorial so just be mindful of that guys I'm just taking my time braiding my hair and don't judge me it's not the best braids but we're not here for that I started off my braids using natural hair and then I'm going to use the feed in method so you would see when I reach to a certain point I add in the braids and you just want to do that as many times that you like. I didn't put too many in because I wanted it to look as natural as possible and here is the end result. I finished the rest of the braids off camera. I did it long. It's like around waist length. Now it's time to crochet the back. So the first thing you wanna make sure is that you braid the back of your hair. You wanna do that neatly and you wanna make sure that the braids are lying flat. You don't wanna put it too tight, but it has to be taut enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and braid all the sections. I have a total of five to six braids in the back. When you're finished, you wanna take the length of the braid and crochet that into the braid that you just did. You wanna ensure that you do them properly and this is how it should look. Then you wanna go ahead and ensure that you all your scalp. You gotta ensure that your scalp stays healthy. It is a protective hairstyle, but we have to make sure that we do it right. This is the crochet hair that we'll be using today. It is the Tosiana Locks by Toya Tress. It is in the length 24 inches. Then you wanna take your time and crochet those in downwards. Once you do that, then the hair would lay nice and flat. Just finished installing all the crochet and this is how my hair is looking so far. Now we're going to apply some shine mist all over to get that fresh out of the salon look. Then of course we have to lay and slay them baby hairs to complete the style and this is the end result. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!